Hello and welcome to this next episode of the video series where we're checking out submissions to the Dungeon Crawler Game Jam of 2024. And this time we will have a look at Gizmo's Quest by Team Sunforge. And um, this seems like an underwater pyramid or something. You, are, um, you explore the ancient post-apocalyptic ruins left behind by humanity a long time ago. Maybe this is also just on an, uh, a planet and the hostile environment or something. Alright, let's go to the game page. Um, you have descended from the utopian society you call home into the depths where buried ancient ruins of past civilization lie in wait. Why would you do this? Well... It's customary for youth to travel here when they come of age, to learn of humanity's past mistakes and by seeing the apocalyptic consequences of their greed and hatred with their own eyes. It just so happens to be your turn. But do not be afraid, as you have been issued your own gizmo as a traveling companion. He will keep you company as you make your way through the caverns, find keys and upgrades uh, to aid in navigation, and run away from the still active and very hostile security robots of this ancient ruined city. Your objective is to retrieve two keycards, blue and red, then find the power jump and power grip, two abilities that will be crucial in aiding your return to the surface. You delve deep and explore so that you can find the means to climb to the top of the cavern and re-emerge from the long buried runes of the past into which you had been thrust. Controls. Attacks didn't make it into the game unfortunately, so you will see the label in the menu. Uh, okay. Uh, so I hope that you don't have to flee all the time. We are using WSD controls. Uh, press and hold WSD to move. Q and E to strafe. Okay, this is swapped basically. I think I will just not strafe then. Because that would, it's always weird to switch in between. I can just live with basically using the arrow keys. Um, yeah. Hold space and press direction to jump. Okay, we can also jump. Mm, Alt and shift. Okay. And right mouse button. Okay, credits. GYD Giza, programming 3D modeling and level design. A Bronwyn, GYD Paris, texture painting and sound design. Gustavo Tosken, music composer. Game Maker Studio 2, Game Engine, Free Sound Org for sound effects. A lot of features went missing due to the time constraints. Believe it or not, this is our first 3D game. It was a huge challenge, but also an amazing learning opportunity. And even though we did not include everything we wanted, players not able to attack, there was an entire third area that had to be cut, a wall climbing ability and plenty of bugs. We are very happy and uh, with and proud of the results. We hope you enjoy going through this little game. Well, the screenshots look interesting. Um, so let's jump into Cos Gizmo's quest field trip. And here we are in the game and we can already see the environment which we will jump into now. Um, I need to be careful to not press escape because that will close the game. So, uh, and there's also a load button, but uh, let's start. I mean, we can't die anyways. So, hi, I'm Gizmo. I will be a be your companion on this educational field trip to the ruins of humanity's past mistakes. Press enter if you wish to see or change the controls. And here we can decide between controller, WSD, which I will probably use now with uh, mouse in addition. Otherwise you could also use J and K for interaction. Um, yeah, and numpad. I'm, I'm not sure if I need to select anything, but let's just use that one. Okay, well Gizmo, let's get out. So the... You can... It's a very nice looking vast area here. And it's also very helpful that you we can actually um, hold, press and hold the button to move forward, otherwise I think exploration would be a bit tedious here. K 
Can we jump downwards or do we need a ramp for that? We can also jump. Mm hmm. So the um, the camera is a bit on the back side, which you can. Uh, yeah, it's it's fine. Um, uh, let's go just here for for showing something. So my feeling is that the tiles are a little bit smaller than Grimrock, but maybe. Uh, yeah, they are. So, um, but it's perfectly fine. It's just that, uh, like, my impression there. <laughs> but even though they are smaller, um, you can see, still see pretty much the same amount. Um, and this means that, yes, we are further behind on the tile when rotating. But, yeah, it's, it's fine. Um, what I would like to see though is that uh, movement is queued up so that you move forward and turn right. That it's actually also executing that turn right. What does work though if, is if you go forward and hold the right button and then release the button um, afterwards, then you will also turn right, but it's not queued up. Alright, let's see what we can find here and how we. Ah, oh, there's, there's a key card. Let's see how we can um, can ascend. There is some ramp. Let's let's do the, this one first. Can we jump on that? Uh, no, it's one tile too far. Hmm. Ah. There is some some weirdness going on where with, with the controls. Not quite sure yet what exactly. So this is not very helpful. Ah, we actually we had a button for uh, jumping or something, right? Maybe we need an item for that. Grab is shift, space is jump. But I think we need an item in order to be able to to jump. I think that something like that was mentioned before. So let's um, go on this ramp here before we try going there. Like, I mean, this seems to be like the straightforward path we are supposed to use yeah like this I wasn't it wasn't my intention to do a 180 degree turn okay mm. Yeah, it's also con uh, doing a continuous turn, and I think I would not do that. This has n there is no purpose in ever doing that. So, um, for walking forward, obviously, it makes sense. But for turning, I would only ever accept one input and then execute that, and that's it. Oh. Well, our gizmo is not very helpful, is it? So jumping is also not working. Shift, Alt, we can jump, go down, but... This is not a button. This is also closed. Uh-huh. I like the music and how it's adapting. Ah! 
Aua! 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 Ähm... And we can't get out, so I need to restart the game. That is a bit unfortunate, especially when the when going there takes that long. And I don't have a clear idea what I am supposed to do. So that was our field trip. But we also I mean I can press escape. This is obviously not opening the the menu, this is just killing the game. We don't have a button for for quick save. It says load here, but mm, yeah, okay. Let's take the other road to the left. Mm, okay, we will also end up here. So we need to go to the to the right side. Do do. So was there some strafing option? I don't think there was. I mean it says attack and interact. So what is end? I don't know. But it doesn't look like we can strafe. Sneaky, sneaky! Go away! No! I can't move to the... Ah, okay, this is not um, a tile we can move to. Yeah, so this is not an empty tile, this is a blocked tile. There's quite a lot of space until that tile. Okay, we got a key card. This is blocked. Now I still need to get out somehow. But it's also interesting that this time we only have one of these robots in here. Mm. Let's wait a bit. And we are actually reloading our hit points apparently. Goodbye. 
Evil Robots. Okay. Oh. Okay, but I can't go, can't get out here. This is, and we can't jump or anything. I mean, there's this hold. Maybe we need to 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 run forward and then hold the button or something. No. Let me try that with all all keys. So with shift, no. Then with control, no. Ah, actually we can strafe, okay. Um, yeah, uh, still confusing because the buttons are swapped. Um, alt, no, it's not working. All right, so... But there is no way, so we need to use that other door. Can I interact with this thing? No. And this is also... Oh! Did do did make a sound, so this is actually a button. Go away. Mm, this didn't work, or maybe you, it was just not possible to hear the sound. No. Maybe we can also deactivate these. Ah, ah, let me away. Okay. Bloop. Uh-huh. We had a blue key card, right? Mm. Okay. It's quite a big area. Yeah, now you can also see, I mean, this is half, half in the tile, within the tile, so um, when rotating, we are pushing ourselves into it. Good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, this didn't help too much. Ah, here. Mm. I mean, we also don't have a map, so... There's another key card. Maybe we can. Oh, what's that? Uh -huh. Maybe we can use the red button with that card. So this looks like Mesa or something. Anyways, we cannot get there. This seems to be like the area for the staff. No, here we are. 
So we've got both keycards, and I think it mentioned there are only two, right? But we also had a keycard outside. somehow doubt that this is working now. Oh, it is working. All right. I thought I already had that. Maybe not. Okay. But now I still don't know what to do with these key cards. I mean, at the start there was maybe one door we could possibly open. We can't go back, right? So we need to to find um, a new way in this area somewhere. There are no further doors here. This is just leading to the to the other section of the room. Mm, so there's nothing we can find here. Okay. Let's go back. So this whole section here is pointless basically. Okay. So we need to go into that. Then climb well let's let's check this area again. No, there's nothing. We can move over. We got a key card there, but I have no idea what to do with it. I mean, we also cannot jump. I think that's something we will receive later on. Nah. So yeah, we got this key card now. But I don't see how we can progress further. Maybe there is one key, one button we are supposed to use already with like holding on or something grab is shift i'm not sure how this is supposed to work or if we are actually supposed to use it already i mean i can press shift but it's not doing anything We can't use anything there. I mean, it might be possible that we need to find these shoes from somewhere, or uh, some, some equipment first, in order to be able to jump. And only then are we allowed to go here. No. 
I mean, it also says space jump, which we can't, right? It's, there's some item which we are missing for that. Or maybe it's just not using in this combination. That would be weird though. No idea. I, de I don't see any further path. Let's check out this room again. Maybe there's something we can do. Further door. But even if we were able to hold on to that thing in the other room, this would not help us to go anywhere. This is just this lamp thing there. And there is no further way out, so that's not super useful. I don't see anything. Oh. So if we go forward and then I'm still not sure. We cannot press jump on the tile we are, but maybe if we are standing in front of a wall, we can use that to jump over it. Now we would need some wall where we can test that, and I don't, th I don't remember any. This is also going up. Mm, yeah. Ah, yeah, like this. If that's even intended that way, maybe it's not. Because I can't jump when I'm standing. I can only jump if I'm... Ah, okay. I need to press space first and then forward and then I'm jumping. Uh -huh. Okay, and with that we should be able to get back. Right? Maybe not. Maybe on the on the second thing. Um. Like if we go there. Yeah, but there's also this ceiling, and this is actually two tiles, so this is not helping. But in theory, we should be able to jump there. Yeah. Okay. Ah, okay. 
Yeah, I really need to to um uh, to to get a better feeling for how to use these controls. It's a bit weird. Nah, okay, that was my my uh, problem here. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Take the right side. All right. So press space forward. Okay. Turn. Press space forward. Okay. Space forward. Space forward. Space forward. Space forward. Space forward. Space forward forward space forward and now we are back and can get out again maybe maybe not okay mm-hmm I want to go back into that direction now and see if there was anything I was missing. I used that before. No, we'll just go out again. Okay. Space forward. Okay, with that knowledge, how to jump, <laughs> we might also get um, up to the other tower now. Space forward, space forward. Okay, this doesn't look like it's finished yet or something. Forward, forward, forward. I'm not sure what happened there, why it was turning one time more than I intended to. Maybe we need to grab a shift. Oh, this is... No, okay, maybe it's not working. But now maybe I also didn't figure out how to probably grab if that's also a bit weird. Mm, yeah, so you should definitely have uh, like um, a tutorial section or something like how you do this, how you do that, or maybe just a description on the web page. Because the handling is a bit weird. Okay, so we might be able to move to the other side there. So let's try that. I don't think that we can reach that yet, but maybe... This is going higher. A 
but it's also not. No. Okay, we need to to move the the other way around. Ah, there's nothing. Can we move to that? No, we can't. So this is, it doesn't seem to be connected. Okay, we can, these are ladders and we can grab to the ladder with, no, we just need to move forward. Okay. But still, this is not useful in this instance, but maybe there have been other ladders I didn't see yet. Okay, so we can. Now uh, we can't go around. Maybe, maybe to the other side. Okay, so we could go there, and there's actually a ladder up. So that should work. Okay, space forward, forward, space forward, 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 space forward, 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 turn. Okay. I think I already had that card before, but anyways, now we have another one. Um. Well, I can't get back. Maybe I can just go back in my spaceship and fly home. Bring me home! Okay, it doesn't work. Um, hmm. So we have both cards now. Access cards. But what am I supposed to do with that? There is still this whole section which I can't get to for now. Maybe I was supposed to jump up at that point. Does look like it, but maybe. What do we have here? 
there are also some platforms and whatnot. We can't get... Uh. There are no ladders here. Mm. <laughs> what? Okay, there's some some evil robots. So yeah, we probably need to go there. We can't jump there. How do we get Let's climb up again. I doubt that this is... Oh, okay. We can actually go up there. I'm not sure... I was just hanging in the air for some reason. That was a bit odd. So this works for some reason. Ah. Okay, I'm hanging in these ropes, I guess. Can I... No, I can't go up there, but maybe this also works for the other side. This seems much too far away. Still can't go there. And this one is yeah, it's connected. There is nothing close to that. But maybe... Maybe from here. Okay, up. Okay. But this also doesn't help us. Yeah, this, with this we can navigate between these two points. Okay. But it's interesting that it's possible. But we need to get there somehow. 
Maybe I was able to, if I just walked into the other direction, I would have been able to go up there. So let's try that again. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, whatever. Um, let's do this. Then jump forward. Go forward. Yes, forward again. All right. And jump and jump. All right. Now, what's the point of being here? There's nothing. It's just bringing us back to that corner where we couldn't proceed before. Okay, let's go. Uh -huh. I mean, this is quite a big construct there. Maybe we can jump on one of these tiles and then try to ascend there. There's quite a big ladder. Ah, yeah, this might be promising. Now, can I jump there and hold? I'm not sure. Ooh, 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 ooh. I don't think I'm supposed to jump into that um, thing. All right, so uh, this is two tiles. I'm not sure if I can hold there. This in front of me seems to be, yeah. Okay. Mm hmm And jump. I'm not sure if this is two tiles. I mean, it's definitely not one. And the issue at this point is that it's a super long way back. And I don't think that this is even two tiles between... Yeah. This would be... One tile, two tile... No, this could actually be the, the right one. Not sure. Let's try this. Yes. Yeah, the point problem is now that I need to, to walk back the whole path again. And every try to do something takes like 10 minutes or so. So I need to think, what did I do? do or what's the the clo the fastest path this then forward up okay jump forward forward okay forward forward Mm. But I'm also not sure if I just didn't use the controls right. Now need I leave space? No. Press forward, okay, that works. Okay, there's this thingy in front of us. Jump forward. Now I'm standing on this thing. 
But there isn't anything else. So this is a dead end. Probably. Ah oh, no, there's also something. Yeah, well, great. That's just the bottom. And now I uh, went through this thing. Yeah. Alright. Um, let's try it one more time. Jump up. It's not really predictable to me what's working and what is not without testing it. I mean, this, okay, this is just no normal tile we jump forward. But most things seem like, well, can, is it in range? I'm not sure. And then if I jump towards it, will it hold? I'm not sure. And if it holds, can I move forward? I'm not sure. So that's... Yeah, that... Ah. So I was able to, to climb this. This one is basically a dead thing, right? We cannot get to this platform there. We might be able to jump over these there. Yeah, but there is nothing useful. I don't think that this is intended, that I'm actually going through the ladder. Okay, this worked. And I think I failed with that the last time. This might be one tile too far, but I think this one should work. Okay, that was not what I was intending to do. Ah, okay. Up. Now we need to jump. This is not working. I don't think that this will work. But I also don't see how we can get further up. I mean, this looks to be the obvious path. Let's tr just try that. Yeah, and there was... You, you saw that it was jumping two times, and I think there's something... Um, also, with moving one tile too far sometimes, there's something off... Um, so with the controls, I will try it one more time, but, um, yeah. So the controls are not intuitive on the one hand, and on the other... Um, the input is also a bit, well, weird with holding the keys and pressing double, and you might like with this with this turning twice it sh should not be there so 
what I needed to do is actually go there, right? And climb up. Yeah, this for example... Now I think I can jump through that and climb up. Yeah, this is... It doesn't feel like it should be that way. And then releasing the the jump button. And this I can just climb up, okay. Okay, press space and W once, okay. Now W again and this works. Space, forward, forward, okay. Space forward. Okay. Poo! We made it! Oh, nice. I'm not sure what the keys were for, though. And we are flying back to space. Made by team Sunforge. Mm, three artists, uh, GYD Jesa, three artists programmer, level designer, and Brownwin GDW Paris. Texture painter, sound designer, Gustavo Tossen, a composer. Tosken. And sounds from uh, Free Sound, made in Game Maker Studio. Thank you for playing. Yeah, we made it uh, back to the spaceship. And. Um, Alright, yeah, that was uh, Gizmo's quest. So, overall, a, a very nice entry. I think yeah regarding the um the perspective it was fine i think w what i mentioned regarding the tile size it could be a little bit uh, let me check if i can put it edit uh, yeah a little bit bigger but it's negligible <laughs> um regarding movements i think um there was this with the turning which wasn't really optimal and now we are stuck here basically. Let me just restart it and then I can uh, show it live again. Um, so regarding... Uh, needs to, to load a bit until it's showing up in on the recording. Um, I can also click on load. Let's see what happens there. Ah, okay. And we can see the cutscene again, which I don't want. Um, okay. So the tiles could have been a little bit bigger. Um, the... Um, the movement forward and then turning right, for example, that's not working. But sometimes, like, it turned right without going forward, even though forward was first. And now actually the game crashed. Code error, error in action number one of step event zero for abject object pol police. Um, okay. So, um, I will just, I will just keep the screen here then. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, with the movement, there is something um, a bit off. Um, but otherwise, uh, yeah, I mean, the, yes, especially with these big areas, it would be nice to, to also be able to move a bit quicker even. Um, but it, uh, it's a nice design. I like the graphics. The, it was also nice to have the music um, all the time, which was also changing depending on whether or not there was an enemy, which was a nice touch. Um, yeah, combat wasn't really in. I think it was kind of in because you could disable the robots, which I didn't do, but I think you can potentially do that. But yeah, they also planned to add the combat. Um, 
Uh, yeah, overall a uh, nice entry, just let's needs a little bit polish, I would think. And if you want to check out the game, you can find it, uh, well, you can find a link down in the video description to HIO, where you can download all the games from this jam. And down in the video description, you can also find a playlist with all the entries I did so far. But uh, in order to not to miss any new entries, you can, of course, also subscribe to the channel. So, and with that, thanks to Team Sunforge for this entry to the Game Jam 2024 Dungeon Crawler Game Jam. And uh, thanks to all of you for watching this uh, video. And I hope to see you again uh, soon or next time. <laughs> so thank you and bye bye.